So we made it to Idaho. We're staying in my parents' vacation home that you guys have probably seen a couple times on a few of my vlogs. Um, ooh, it's bright out here. I don't know if you can see me because I can't see you, but <laughs> yeah, so today's 4th of July. We're going to try to go down by the marina and see what's going on down there. There's a lot of people in town. This is like the busiest time for this town. Um, but I'm probably going to show you guys around and see like how cool it is. It's a lake town. There's a lot of people with their boats and jet skis and things like that. Families out here. A lot of people come down from Boise and other places just for this weekend. So we're going to try to go down there and get out of the house, do something fun, maybe go swimming, something like that. And yeah, happy 4th of July. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I got this t-shirt actually from Marshalls right before we came here, but it's really cute. It has, um, you know, an old school car. And let me show you what shoes I was thinking about when I bought this shirt because they're super cute. So I was planning to wear it with these orange dunks. They have a little bit of yellow, gold, and orange in them. And then I'm just wearing black biker shorts. So yeah, that's... Just something casual for 4th of July, you know? Nothing too much. And then I painted my toes orange because I can't get enough of orange. Here we are. Yeah, so that's the fit. covering the whole screen and I was on the phone for 10 seconds. Well, you talk crap to him, so we what do you expect? Not all the time. We are, you are G, we are G here, man. I don't care. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Canary, you got to moonwalk. You got to learn how to moonwalk. <laughs> Not in this. <laughs> Not in this. Man, this shit. Huh? I know, right? Isn't that cool? I've yeah. never seen that here before. Solo. Hand me a towel, I'm dirty dancing by myself. Gone off tabs, but I ask it for me a circle. Watch my jacket.
It's skipping showers and switching socks, sleeping good and long. Bones feeling this is fucked. Wish a nigga would cross and catch a solo. On time. about a day but Dante and I are getting ready to go out to dinner because he's actually flying out of town to go back to work tomorrow so we are dressed up for date night and um, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing a date night reel okay so don't miss out on that and I thought I would show you guys my outfit I'm wearing my lime green shirt from Zara, my orange bralette from Zara. This necklace is also from Zara. People always ask me about that. I don't know if it's still available. And then I'm wearing my white jeans from Zara and my orange pumps. My orange pumps from Zara, super cute. And I'm gonna be carrying my beige bag. I didn't wanna carry let me see if I can get in the light. I didn't want to carry an orange bag just because I felt like, you know, it would be too much orange, lime green, orange. I thought the beige was just kind of something simple, something a little bit more neutral. So we're going to this place called Shore Lodge. It's actually the only, or one of the only resorts that I know of in the town of McCall. Um, it's really nice. They have really nice restaurants. They have like a five-star restaurant, I think, inside of the resort. And there's also a really cool bar 
and a couple other restaurants and bars as well. So we're gonna go to the bar, have some food there and just chill, have a little date night, a little vibe and have a good time before he leaves. So I'm probably gonna bring you guys with me but I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. So hopefully the quality stays up to the quality bar. But who knows, at least I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I would like to get to know if I could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on If I told that you know, then I won't be for you I could be wrong but I feel like something could be going on what's up you guys it's been kind of a minute since i caught up with you guys and actually talked to the camera so i just wanted to get a second to kind of catch up and chat about what we've been doing so you guys probably already saw that we um, you know, kind of like what we did on the 4th of July. My sister dressed up as a unicorn and that was really funny because there's always this man that stands in town with his sign, basically kind of expressing his distaste for gay people or the LGBTQ community in general. So my sister loves to, especially on a big holiday like this when she knows he's gonna be downtown, she loves to put on her rainbow unicorn and go wave her rainbow flag in front of him. So I caught that on camera. I thought that was really funny. We got him a little bit worked up, so that was also really funny. I mean... <laughs> and then Dante went back out of town to go back to work. So he's probably going to come back here and meet us next week uh, when he has the week off of work. But today we are probably, or we're at least going to try to do a boat day today. The weather's been kind of like weird and a little bit cloudy, but it's a little bit better now. The sun's starting to come out. It's getting warmer. It's not raining. Um, also, I wanted to catch up with you guys on my hair situation. <laughs> so have you ever just been in a rush to get your hair done because you're about to go leave on vacation go somewhere and you really just need to get your roots touched up and do a little something to get your hair looking good again well i made the mistake of going to the ulta ulta salon to someone that i've never been to before i asked for you know some low lights and for her to bring up some of my roots and add some highlights back into some of my roots yeah and sort of a warmer blonde, and I ended up with orange-ish, yellowish hair. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I toned it with, I, I contacted the girl who usually, did, who used to do my hair in the Bay Area. You guys know, since I moved to the Bay Area, I haven't found someone permanent to like be doing my hair. So I'm almost tempted to just fly back to California and have her do my hair every time I need it done because this is ridiculous. Um, so I contacted her to see like what I should do and I had some blue shampoo left over, which blue the blue shampoo is better for like orange tones. So I did that and I shit you not, it would not tone the virgin part of my hair right here that they put most of the color on. Like bo the bottom part where my older color was, it toned that perfectly, like really nicely. It made it a really cool blonde. I really didn't want to be a cool blonde again, but I, it, it literally did almost nothing to the fresh color. I don't know why. I did it a couple times. It made like the tiniest difference. It made it a little bit more manageable. But so what I did to temporary, 
to give me a temporary solution, I went down to CVS and I got that root touch up. What is it called? Let me go grab it so I can show you guys. Okay, so I got two colors. This is not the one that I've been using. I don't actually recommend this one. Um, this is a very yellowy blonde root color and it's not cute at all. So I'm returning this, but I have this in the light golden brown color. And what that basically did is I sprayed it on my roots area where the fresh color is and it gave it more of an ashy toned down kind of a color, which took away from some of the orange that, that I was seeing. So it's a good temporary solution. The only thing is I don't know how I'm gonna wear my hair down. Like I have two different, girl, it's a mess. It's, it's a whole ass mess. I don't even know what to do. So I'm just doing this. I Maybe I'll have a bun the entire time I'm here. I really don't know. Um, but I don't know. I washed my hair a little bit this morning. But do you see how yellow and orange? I mean, it's. I almost don't even want to show you guys because it is so disgusting and embarrassing. I didn't put any of the root touch up color on top yet. Um, and it's a lot like it's a lot better than it was but and and this is also without the root, root touch up color that I was just talking about so when I add a little bit of that root touch up color it's definitely bearable it's manageable it doesn't look bad once I put that color a little bit on top <sighs> so if you're ever in a situation like me I recommend going down to CVS and getting these root touch-up spray-on colors. I've actually used these before, which is what, what made me think of this. So she came through. She's kind of saved the day for now. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram this morning, and I asked if you guys wanted to see on Instagram daily outfits or mini vlogs. And a lot of people voted for daily outfits, and some people voted for um, mini vlogs. So... When you're watching this, I've probably already started posting those, but if you haven't seen them already, I'm most likely going to post those as reels. So if you want to see what I was wearing every day and kind of see a little bit more detail as far as what I've been doing, then go follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post mini vlogs on TikTok a lot. I've decided that I like to use TikTok for mini vlogs just because it's less pressure, it's more fun, and it's organic, authentic, and just not the pressure of looking aesthetic, if that makes any sense. So everything that I'm wearing is from Zara. I'm gonna show you guys outside because I think the lighting is better. So this is my little bag from Zara, Reese t-shirt from Zara, jean shorts from Zara, and then brown, and brown sandals from Zara, I love these. So this is just my casual kind of like run errands around town kind of an outfit. So I will probably see you guys when we're headed down to the boat later and hopefully we get to do some fun, thing, fun things out there today that you guys get to see. Maybe some tubing, some boating, things like that. No! do today? Swim. Party! Swim? What about, what else are we gonna do? I don't know. Party? No! Party. For those of you guys who haven't watched my vlogs, this is my sister Katie. Hi! She was the one wearing the unicorn that you saw earlier. <laughs> and this is Stuart! Stuart! And this is Stuart! Stuby do! Hi Stuart! You're such a good boy. You're just a pure Come here. boy. Come here. Uh, You're just a pure boy. Fear
There's always an osprey nest at the top of that tree. Right there. Jump off on his own? Yeah. Yay! We did it! I'm not a fool, 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 I'm not